right, everybody. So I ran to Fleet Farm. Picked up a new one. I'm just going to put these new parts on there. Save them. Um, I was going to go the other route, but somebody brought up a very, very good valid point that this also works as a water separator. So um, we're going to just put these new parts on there quick and get some gas to flow. I just pushed in the shot because we've got a pretty good storm coming, I guess. And when I pushed in here, I put the tractor in reverse, put it in gear, and pushed it backwards, and the motor is not stuck because the blue on the belt was down on the other side, so it's come around, so that tells me the starter is not stuck. So, I am, being it's going to be raining and stuff, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing right here. I figure just push in the shot, being it's going to be raining for the next however long. And I will get this cover off of the ring gear. I'm trying to get it in the right spot without horsing it too much. It's probably me that broke the last one. So. carried away I'm gonna move from the other side just to make sure that the saddle is sitting where it belongs and it is <laughs> so as I was saying I think I'm gonna take this uh, cover off the ring gear <laughs> should be tight enough uh, tight too much to break the dumb thing We've got gasoline. Run, run, run. Alright, so that's full. There should be some in the line by now. I think I'm going to uh, and set you guys up here somehow. I'm going to crack that fuel line. Somebody sent me a message saying that they believe the bottom bolt in the carburetor has the spring in it for the float. Oh, bad guess. So I might try and pull that out and see if there is a spring in there. Um, and if there's not a spring in there, I might pull it anyways, just to uh, let some gas run off the bottom, because the way that, this is going to be nice and froze, probably twist off the fuel line, yes, maybe we'll just wait on that, maybe I'll pull out the bottom there. Try and get some fuel to run through there, and maybe it'll clean out any gunk that's in there. So, anyhow, it is in the shop. I'm gonna pull that cover off so I can see the starter and just kind of futz with it in here for a little while. Being we're talking rain today, tomorrow, so uh, today's Saturday, just kind of monkey with a little bit and. <clears throat> Look at that starter. Being it turned over, I know the motor's not seized up. Um, I'll uh, see if I can't get a Bendex from John Deere for it, or an app or somebody, and maybe just fix the starter. I'd really like to start it without pulling it. So, so yeah, anyhow, <clears throat> the motor's not seized. I mean, it, it, it turned over a little bit because, like I say, the belt has moved. And the belt's not going to move if the motor didn't turn over, so um, it might be stiff, I don't know. But for anyway, for right now, 
it has moved um, we've got gas now so I'm gonna work on getting the cover off pull the bottom out of that and go from there so I still like the idea of an actual fuel filter instead of just a sediment bowl but for right now let's uh, just get it running so maybe we can have it up and running in time to uh, Ted my hay that has not been bailed yet that's been washed a couple times that last six acres down the bottom it's still sitting there so maybe we can get it run and maybe we can go Ted it with this and uh, I'll put a little bit of time on here and then we can drain that oil back out and put fresh oil in it and whatnot so so yeah that's where we're sitting today we got a sediment bowl is replaced fixed repaired whatever so and this gasket that I took out is kind of garbaggio so I figure you know what for 30 bucks I'll just buy a whole new sediment bowl <clears throat> you can get a new gasket you can get a new screen but you cannot they do not have this so I don't know if there's a way to get a hold of Calco and see if a person can order one from them or not but whatever so anyways that's where we're sitting today I'm gonna like I say pull that drain off the bottom there I think it's a drain the bottom of the carburetor and try and cycle some gas through it just to kind of clean any garbage up that's in it and get that cover off so so anyhow, stay tuned for more, and I'll probably add more to this, I'm not for sure, but I don't want this to be a 25-part series either, so uh, my buddy Matt kind of brought that up. If it turns out to be that, we're going to retitle this to Days of Our Old Iron or something, I guess, but anyway. All right, so I just took this plug out the bottom, turned the gas on. Ran some out on the ground. <clears throat> hopefully that'll clean some of the stuff out. I don't know. Put the plug back in. Left the gas on for a minute. Hopefully that bowl is full. <clears throat> now I'm taking off this cover. I have a bunch of the bolts removed already. Got one left. Uh, being I do not have time lapse, I just decided to go ahead and start on that because otherwise it can kind of get long. Apparently my uh, video editor. Um, It's pre-time-lapse era or something, I don't know. Came free on my laptop, so it's what we're using. <clears throat> There's no money in making YouTube videos, so it's hard to keep spending money on stuff like that. If you're not making any money doing it, so someday when I make a lot of money making YouTube videos, I'll upgrade my video editing software. But for right now, it's basically uh, just for the fun of it. Get the stirrer pedal off of here. Out the way. Let's see what kind of stuff we can find in here. Oh, there's a little round, uh, almost looks like a bear. So, I should say the starter, the motor, is not stuck. Let's see if my tractor wants to go forward on me. Motor is not seized. Clutch is disengaged. We always had problems with the shifter in this thing. We just went over a compression stroke. Hoo hoo hoo. Ouch.
So, apparently there's a cover on the bottom for taking the starter out. I don't know, I've never, uh, never done a starter in one of these before. But the motor is not seized. That's a good, uh, good start. So, looks like we can remove a cover off the bottom. I'm guessing that a pin that's laying in there is probably out of the starter. Here's the starter right here. I'm going to pull this cover off the bottom and the starter drops out that way. <clears throat> Which is funny that all the wear on the starter is on this side. Huh. I don't know. Somebody must have spun the ring gear or something once upon a time. <laughs> Anyhow, that's where it's sitting right now. It's probably as far as it's going to get today. <clears throat> so, we'll have to pull that starter out and fix that Bendex on there, I guess. And B and I can turn it over by hand. I see no reason to why that starter will not start it, so I don't think we're going to pull starter, I think we're going to fix the starter. That way I can uh, turn it over with the starter, put my spark tester on there, make sure we've got spark. Otherwise, if we pull it, it's hard to test all that stuff from the, from the seat, so it would be nice to test that <laughs> right here. So, I think we're going to get the starter pulled out. Then Monday I'll call, call John Deere and nap and see if anybody has a Bendex or if anybody can get a Bendex for it. We'll fix that, which ought to be interesting. I've never worked on them before. So, then I'll have to probably change that battery and put my boat battery in there because that one's not going to cut the mustard. But, yeah. So stay tuned for more. This is just a... I guess this is going to be part three. This is where we're sitting today. We'll get that starter out and then we'll uh, start working on part four.